Hello everybody, my name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Last time we went through all the women on the list of Dandelion's planner. Well, half of them, because Sultan got the other half. And gotten a few uh, surprises along the way. But we managed to gather that Dandelion uh, has an interest in an other woman. A blonde, mysterious woman we haven't met yet. He also asked around for some mold and uh, probably a link to the, the questions about Kalkstein the alchemist and then he asked around about the washerwomen in the bathhouse as well and since we've seen a big explosion in, uh, in the flashback we might assume that that has something to do with it but first Monsieur Sultan, you old bum. What's this? Haven't even drunk a water. Naughty bum. Now repeat. Savory crackers. And apparently Zoltan is trying to teach an owl how to speak. Okay then. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? If you want to start talking any day now. Um, well, that's actually funny because in the books uh, Zoltan has a parrot. So I'm gonna go with that one. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Um, you first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I've not seen the hiding or hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Some dubious words. <laughs> okay. We think we might have something of interest. Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's have at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's okay Priscilla. then. I must be her. Okay then. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? <laughs> Himself. Himself. <laughs> exactly. And she's his mirror image. That's... kind of creepy. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Fox. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Crackers? <laughs> okay, so uh, we need to meet Zoltan in the Kingfisher Inn. And I think we've passed through the Kingfisher Inn already once, or it might have been a Mayo tank. Because uh, in between, I've uh, again raided a few monster nests and the like, and I've gotten a fancy new steel sword, the one on the left. Uh, I hope nobody freaks out if I take it out. Okay, I'll put it back. There we go. So that's my new uh, steel sword. It's incredibly armor piercing and I've buffed it a bit with more armor piercing and the critical hit damage bonus is also very nice. So uh, another addition to the equipment. I've also again leveled up so uh, I'm gonna upgrade the Urden upgrade over here that allows us to place two traps now and they stay for 10 seconds longer than they would originally so there you go 
and now we have 18 points in the sign branch and we can uh, start intensifying each sign separately if we want to because I think I'm going to go into uh, poisons a bit here we'll see about that the next time around but first, we'll need to meet Zoltan in the Kingfisher Inn after sundown. So let's head to the Kingfisher Inn and start meditating in front of the door. Which is something a beggar would do. I believe, but hey. Maybe something else in between. If you go into the street across from the Rosemary and Thyme, the building at the end there is the Rosemary and Thyme, you come across this herbalist here. And it's actually a gnome. And this guy. Awfully kind of you to visit again. What sort of herbs do you need, young man? Is a very interesting fellow because he has pretty much any poison or oil in his stock, the diagrams for it, and the enhanced version of them. So uh, if you're in need of some of the diagrams, just go see him. I've done that already. Take care. And I've uh, added the black blot that I was missing to my uh, inventory. Also have the enhanced black blot now, I think. And I have a lot of diagrams for other enhanced potions and poisons. So that's very nice in, for in the future. But now, to the Kingfisher Inn. See you there. So at the Kingfisher Inn, I'm gonna try... I think I can meditate just in the middle here, so... Uh, Oh, apparently I can't. I need to go outside. And there we go. So 10 p.m. Let's head inside. And watch Priscilla or Calanetta or however you want to call her perform. It's actually a very nice scene. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Some arse rests. And there we have Priscilla. She actually kind of looks like Dandelion. But I'll be quiet now. Your scent berries tart lilac. 
I would clap too, but that would uh, ruin the audio recording, I think. So that was clearly about Geralt and Yennefer. More hints in there than you would think. I know him! Yep. Yeah, and Silence. you're in and saved your life. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. Hello, Priscilla. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Yeah, she's still very ungrateful about what happened in White Orchard. Permits me to introduce... Uh, this here's Priscilla. Known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Yeah, Don't we noticed. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say... Sorceresses. <laughs> so, her... Uh, her song didn't just explain... You just described the looks of Carol and the looks of Jennifer and their love. It actually even told us how it started. Since the love between Carol and Jennifer started out as a wish Carol uttered in front of a gin, a genie in a bottle, as you will. But uh, that's why one of the books is called The Last Wish. Because that's how this relationship actually started. So they're still not really sure whether they love each other because of that wish or because they actually love each other. So, uh, seems Dandelion left nothing out. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Okay. Love her accent, there a reason by the way. For all this sneaking around. An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault. Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Yeah, so that must have been the explosion we've seen in the flashback. So who's Reuven? Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. 
So, uh, if you're familiar with the books and maybe even the games, you uh, might already have a notion of who Sigurd Ruven actually is. Um, I'm down and whether I should explain now or in when we actually meet Sigurd Ruven. So maybe I'll hold off on that to not spoil anything. So breaking into a vault. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. And True. that's saying a lot. Forgot to pay for his wedding to Passa Flora once. And laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. <laughs> Sounds like him, all right. Okay. Must have uh, ended badly then. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue stealing cats is over on the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. Who we've uh, seen school. passing... Past the window the during a song. Well, bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. So, we're gonna need to rescue him again. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Riven runs a bathhouse. Uh -huh. Careful though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. <laughs> I don't doubt Indeed. it. Indeed. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. So she clearly cares for him. And uh, now we have solved the well, mystery. Uh, bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. If I walk like that, the woman is old. Yes, indeed. Hey, so now we know why uh, Dandelion was asking around about the washerwomen in the bathhouse. Since uh, Sigi Reuven owns a bathhouse and they wanted to. Well, perform a raid on his vault. Man, this place is crowded. So our next step would be to go to the bathhouse and talk to Sigur Reuven, as the quest suggests. But uh, we made an arrangement, as you might remember, in the previous episode, and we still owe Rosa Varetra some fencing lessons. So we're gonna do that first and head back to her manor. So back at the Varatra Villa, I need to talk to the captain of the guard here and tell him about our fencing lessons. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Uh, you got wings on your head. Yeah, I meet uh, a meeting with Rosa, a fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. So we will. So, the bridge is uh, quite a ways off, so uh, again, see you in a second. So we're even meeting her outside of the city. And who do we have here? Stand and fight! Ah, oh, there we go again. You might, uh... Remember this fellow again. from Crow's Perch. More. Bruises on your ass heel already. On oh God, I say. Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow around here. 
Heed my warning and stand and fight! Headless Scarecrow. Okay. Let's get this over with. Duly heated. Now show me what you got. So. We're just gonna add a shield anyway, but. Ooh, this is gonna. This isn't gonna take long. Art! Oops! Oops! There we go. Three hits! I like my new sword. Had enough. Yes, but next time. Oh, shut the go fuck up. Go back to mate Billberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Okay then. And you're still an idiot. So, back onto the bridge over there. For our meeting with Rosa. She seems to be accompanied by a guard. Hello, Rosa. Elf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> Finally. I must say, I kind of like Let's her. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. Um, okay. What about training? We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. Her mouth was doing weird things. And I don't mean that in a erotic way. So yeah, I don't think the ambassador would approve of this. But hey. Here. Look, dear. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge. Like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Uh, only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should. But you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Okay then. Um, really rather not hurt you. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me. Or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. On guard? Okay. okay. Holy shit. The feet throws I, I seriously don't want to hit her. Okay, fuck she's fast. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Ah, now she's poisoned. Ow! Ow! Stop! I yield! Okay. You alright? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. I kind of feel bad. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. Oh, chicka bow wow. Okay, so what now? All right, what's next? We should return. Just... Forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. Okay. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. 
Rosa? Oh, God. Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Yep. So, where far. did she go? I could ask the soldiers, of course, but hey. What's he doing here? So let's follow the footsteps. And the map is confused again, but hey. Okay, she's being harassed apparently, so uh, let's Far step from in. Home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie. We'll yeah, you won't. Apologize and leave. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For forgive me, me lady. I I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. <laughs> well, I didn't hear that apology. Lucas and Kolb. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. Okay. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Thank you, Rosa. But be careful next time. So that's another side quest completed. And look at that view. That is gorgeous. I need a wallpaper like that. <sighs> it's so soothing. But hey, let's head back to the bathhouse. And talk to Siggy Reuven about what happened to Dandelion. On helping me with a very important matter. And on the way, we find this dwarf who asks about. We, well, who, uh. likes to draw our attention. So, Rosten Muggs. What do you want? Name's Muggs. Rosten Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. Okay then, how can we help? What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. Okay. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Sounds good. So the dwarven document I'm dilemma. No ideas if this I'll do that in the future, but first. Help! Help! And now we encounter another quest. What happened, kid? <laughs> they... They... <laughs> okay. And then he ran away. God hey, damn it. Hey, wait. Oh. The great git. Oh, seriously? Right. 
great, great, superbly. And I tried to help. And then I got that. Burn, motherfucker. Fuck you. Goodbye. Yep. Get over here. And burn, baby, burn. And then a bomb on your face. And down they go. Holy shit. That guy lost his legs. Look, there are his legs. There's one over here and one over there. God damn it. That was awesome. Where's the kid? I want to kill that kid. Okay, no kid apparently. So back to the bathhouse. If I ever get there, god damn it. Horson's henchman. Maybe we should just... Okay. Didn't... No, no, I didn't. I didn't want to steal. Uh, I think the bathhouse is underneath here. Yeah. I remember. It's this pretty place. With uh, naked people. Knock, 